radio. Oh yeah, I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. Yes, sir, buddy. It is what it is. It's Tyson Tuesday. We're going to start this thing off right. That's right, man. Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. I'm lit. Hopefully, y'all lit, man. Miss Shanika in the building. What up, Shy? What up? What up? Good morning. How you feeling today? You good? I am excellent. No, that's good to know. We're going to have a good day, and we got to let our people know we got a lot of things coming up, a lot of things to talk about, a whole lot to share. The biggest thing happening will be coming up very, very shortly. Also, Are You Smarter Than Young Jock and Day Dilemma, we got some cash for you. If you could beat me, then what you got going on, Miss Shanika? All right, you already know. I got to get inside that word on the streets news and let you know what's going on with these stars. That's what's up. Now, why are we speaking of stars, man? Why are everybody looking up at the stars? There's always crazy things going on right here on Earth with us. Shout to talk to me about these Earthlings and what's going on. Oh, it's crazy, man. We're going to talk about the viral sensation that went to court on Zoom TV for driving without a license. It's crazy, and it's coming up at the 25 on the Crazy Report. So make sure you do yourself a favor and stick around for more Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's poppin'? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. Good morning. We are Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. I'm DJ Swin. I'm your DJ with the million dollar smile. You know, in 2020, Dr. Fossey was one of the most prominent faces on our screens. Well, Dr. Fossey has showed up in 2024 and apparently just to piss off the American people. Recently, just yesterday, Monday, uh, in an interview with Republicans, he had the nerve, the nerve to answer questions about the six-foot mandatory social distancing rule that came about during the pandemic. And here were some of his answers. The accusation being circulated that I influenced these scientists to change their minds by bribing them with millions of dollars in grant money is absolutely false and simply preposterous. I said that it is not based in science and it just appeared. The CDC was responsible for those kinds of guidelines for schools, not me. What I meant by no science behind it is that there wasn't a controlled trial that said compare six foot with three feet with 10 feet so there wasn't that scientific evaluation of it he says he doesn't recall he doesn't recall having conversations and agreeing to anyone in making suggestions about any social distancing five or six or whatever feet dr fossey you are wrong Uh, Some of the Republicans who were interviewing him stripped him of the name doctor or the title doctor, just left him with Mr. Fossey. And some say that he should be prosecuted for mm, encouraging and influencing the American people wrongly during a worldwide pandemic. Dr. Fossey. You need to go get yourself looked at, man, for real, for real. That's the biggest thing happening today. Listen, I'm DJ Swin. I'm your DJ with the Million Dollar Smile. Coming up, Bonnie Banks is going to take you around your streets in 90 seconds. And, of course, Shawty Shawty has what you want, man. The craziest thing that's happening. Go on your radio. It's the Crazy Report. Leave it like right here. We are Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Check the news. Young Jack and the Streets Morning Takeover. I'm your girl, the Bonnie Banks, getting you around your streets in only 90 seconds. Talking about the jury selection for Hunter Biden. Yes, Joe Biden's son. He is now going to be heading to trial for a gun case that happened back in 2018. 
Hunter Biden accused of violating federal law by lying about his drug use to buy a gun back in 2018. He has pleaded not guilty to all three felony charges. On the eve of this jury selection, the judge blocked one of his expert witnesses and excluded a key piece of evidence. If convicted, Hunter Biden faces a maximum of 25 years in prison and $750,000 in fines. Looks like it's always something going on in politics and looking through this case, we're going to keep you updated as that is going to continue to move forward. In Atlanta, the mayor, Andre Dickens, has apologized for the prolonged water main break and what they are deciding to do now that the water break has been fixed. We have to invest even more in our infrastructure. Uh, This is a result of crumbling infrastructure. Old pipes, there's pipes down there that's been since 1910, since 1930, and we have to upgrade and update these systems and these pipes. And that's what, you know, our go forward plan is. Our immediate plan is to get out of the boil water advisory. I know it was really tough for the city of Atlanta. Some people weren't even able to grab a shower. Yeah, it was a tough one. And election season is right on its heels. Primary early voting ends in two weeks if you are in Virginia. So make sure you go out there and vote for your local elections. That's Around the Streets in 90 Seconds. I'm T-H-E-E, the Bonnie Banks, on all social media platforms. Shai Shai's got the craziest thing you're going to hear all day. It's the Crazy Report. That's right. Don't go anywhere. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shotty, shotty, run it down. Yeah, run it down is what we about to do. We about to run down this viral sensation. Went to court on Zoom for driving without a license in the driver's seat. If you're stationary, I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving without a license suspended. That is correct, Your Honor. And he was just driving and he didn't have a license. That's what the charge is, Your Honor. Yes. No. Oh, I'm looking at yeah. his record. He doesn't have a license. Yep, busted red-handed. And then I, he asked the judge off camera, say, how am I supposed to get to the jail? He said, hell, you driving now? Drive your ass down here and turn yourself in. And that's crazy. You know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy knows crazy. That's shout out with my name in with the crazy report. <laughs> now let's get into these national days. That's right. Definitely got to get inside these national days wish i knew what they were right now all right yeah so those are the same ones from yesterday which i'm not gonna say that so Mm -hmm. remember how yesterday was national repeat day yes yeah we're not gonna repeat what happened yesterday today is national today Today is national today. Today is national. Somebody thought it was a good idea to experiment and switch out producers. And uh-huh. Ta-da! We got what we got. Oh. Okay. Well, happy birthday to all of the celebrities that are celebrating a birthday today. And guess what? What? DJ Swig got to represent for all our local birthdays. Let's get it. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. It's the birthday wish list with Young Jock in the street. Morning takeover. I heard it's your birthday. Gemini season being real lit, man. Salute to all of y'all and thank you so much for tapping in with us on social media, specifically the gram. Every time you slide into our DM and you let us know that you want to get a birthday shout out or you want to shout out somebody, we make sure we do our part. So happy birthday to Yasmin Jones. Thank you so much for checking in. Alexis Shaw, happy birthday to you. Ashante Nicole, big happy birthday shout out to you as well. Josh Newby Ray. Happy birthday to you. And last but not least, Marcus Williams. Big happy birthday, big dog. If you want to get your name on our birthday list, make sure you go tap in with us on the gram. Streets Morning Takeover. That's Streets with a Z, Morning Takeover. That's our handle. Let us know it's your birthday. Let us know it's your friend's birthday as well. And we'll give them a shout out on the radio. Leave it locked. That's right. Young Jock in the streets want to take over. Miss Shanika right here. Shouty, shouty. DJ hey. Swen, the Bonnie Banks. Would I be easy? So look, this morning we are talking about Mexico as they have elected their first 
female president. This is also the first time that Mexican nationals could cast their vote at consulate offices around the world. Here in Chicago, Claudia Sheinbaum declared victory over two rivals. She's a scientist, former mayor of Mexico. She said Mexico's relationship with the United States will be one of mutual respect and friendship. That is the reason why most Mexicans immigrated to the U.S., because of the corruption in Mexico. I need them to know that we're not leaving until we all vote. So figure it out. Do whatever you can possibly do. No one here is going home until they vote. All right. And she won. Now, what I can say is that her name definitely looks like she. Shane Bomb. Shane Bomb. And she also favors Teresa from Queen of the South. But she is not a part of the cartel. I just want you guys to know that. (laughs) That's great. All right. Well, I mean, it's very interesting that this is the first time that they have been able to vote in this capacity in Mexico and I do wish that the relationship between the United States and Mexico gets better because I'm tired of our people being held hostage. You heard me? And they they can come and they can build on their land and they have a good leader to lead them in the right direction. That's right. And for it to be a place that they actually want to stay because I mean there's a whole big thing with immigration as far as uh, Mexico, they they look at us as a land of opportunity. Yes. And give them a land of opportunity where they are from. Yes. So with that I hope a lot landscape. of change becomes uh, prevalent there. All right. Well, coming up, I got some word on the streets news coming your way. You definitely don't want to miss it. Find out who is going to be the new host of the BET Awards for 2024. Okay. Also, say it ain't so. Why mm-hmm. my girls separating young Miami? What? What? The city girls are in separation and Kanye is being sued by his former assistant mm-hmm. for sexual harassment. Shut We're going to get into that and more coming up inside the Word on the Streets News in less than 10 minutes. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Turn off the lights. The mics are on and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, word on the streets, she be bopping, I need more. Word on the streets, screaming bright like on a moped. Word on the streets, I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets, going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover with Miss Shanika. That's right. Let's get inside this word on the streets news and talk about it yes the host of the BET award show it is going down mm-hmm. and other than Taraji B. Hinton yes. will be the host of the awards all right That's um, what's up. it is going to air live on Sunday June 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern yes I was just watching some past uh, episodes of Empire and she just laid that cookie down so hard I just hope she just <laughs> Come in this cookie and let everybody just take a bite out of that moment in life. They didn't hire Cookie Lions. They hired Taraji P. Henson. Yeah. The one that has been telling the truth about how these, um, I guess, contracts are negotiated in Hollywood for brown girls. Mm -hmm. And speaking up and getting women their just due. So it's going to be interesting because I know she's probably going to stick to her truth script. Moving mm. right along, let's talk about this right here. Did not know that Young Miami and JT, the City Girls, have separated. What? I think when the City Girls album just dropped and it didn't do too well and we was just like trying to do our press run. You know, the whole rollout of the album was just so bad because we was just in two different spaces. You know, like we older now and it was just like she was doing her own thing. She on the West Coast. Mm. I'm in Miami. I'm doing my own thing and I felt like naturally when, when she doing her own thing it just worked for her Mm -hmm. and when I'm doing my own thing it worked for me but when we get together as a group it just wasn't connecting Mm -hmm. like it just wasn't working no more so I think we both was at a point where we was just like we probably should just do our own shit it wasn't connecting Mm. it it, it never connected I mean but they weren't rapping for you they were rapping for the young city girls out there and they aren't young you know ignorant girls anymore out there getting arrested for uh, stealing and making big mistakes I mean who knows later on down the line it could come back I'm sure that they still have like show obligations and things of that nature because who's hiring one without the other I mean JT got her buzz going on right now with you know her song but 
I don't think that it's strong enough to to make it throughout the the whole summer. I think they're going to coast it out as socialites and host and they mm-hmm. may not address the music right now. Okay. I think that their individual names mm-hmm. and them as an entity, yeah. they can ride on their own and make it. Yeah, Young Miami might keep getting acting roles and stuff. I'm just like, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> Let's talk about Kanye West. He is being sued by his former assistant for sexual harassment. Her name is Lauren Pistacata. All right, who was already an OnlyFans model when she Mm. met Kanye. Apparently, she had some clerical skills, though. (laughs) My bitch, she (laughs) did. He met her in July 2021 and offered her a $1 million contract to quit her OnlyFans and become his assistant. Now, allegedly, Ye began to send her vow text messages. He would also apparently go on to describe his sexual fantasies with vulgar language. Now, she says that he even did something um, to himself during a phone conversation (sighs) and asked her to guess what he was doing. Also, in October 2022, she got the boot and was offered a $3 million severance, which he (sighs) never fulfilled. She's hitting him up in this lawsuit for wrongful termination, sexual harassment, breach of contract, and hostile work environment. Girl, you let this man harass you for all this time, and you, you know what? Yeah. She mad she didn't get her $3 million, Kanye. You should have just paid her on out. And if you don't know anything, know that he is a porn addict, okay? Mm-hmm. And also, he's about to start a, a porn streaming service, which he admitted to. Anyway, that is the Word on the Streets news. I am Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. Coming up, we got to talk about this trending topic. What is an in- Insult from someone that you will not forget. That's scary. Wow. All right. I got to think about this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so y'all make sure y'all stick around. We're going to talk about it. Hit us up, one 844 That's one 844 Woo, Young Jack in the streets morning take over. That's right. Thank you for waking up with us. It's the top of the hour. Young Jack in the streets morning. Take away. Hey, man. Yeah. You know, sometimes we talk crap to each other. You know what I'm saying? Especially sometimes. Rela- I'm just saying, yeah. Especially in relationships, right? Uh-huh. You know, some people talk junk about their partner behind their back. Oh. I mean, a lot of people do, right? Oh, yeah. Make insults. I don't. It's the yeah. American way. Now, what? what about when they do it in your face? How do you cope with that? How do you take that? Um, I take it better take than back. somebody um backbiting. Mm, backbiting. Yeah, I can be the same person like the same flea. behind your back <laughs> and in your face. Wow. You know. Okay, so tell me an insult from someone that you won't ever forget. Somebody told me that my downfall was gonna be my attitude. Oh, you ain't never forgot it. Mm-mm. You just don't care. I'm still thriving. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm With tell the y'all. same attitude. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what happened to me. My uh, son was a baby, and he was getting changed, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know who's changing him, but who they said, ooh, he hanging. And my baby mama going to say, yep, he don't take care of his daddy. Ooh. I never forgot that. I never forgot that. Nah, because <laughs> that was not true. It's just so many different things, that, that, that elements. Was, that was not true, man. Why did they say that out loud about the baby? She must be mad at me. Man, I was, I was looking at this girl in her eyes, and she was looking back at me like deep in my eyes. I was like, oh, we got a connection. And she said, has anyone ever told you? I said, what's up, babe? She said, you look like you got Down syndrome. <laughs> no. That's not uh, funny, job. I was like, wow. wow. <laughs> you know? Because I didn't even know what to say. Then I looked in the mirror. I, maybe it was just a sleepy day. And I looked in the mirror like, damn. <laughs> he said it was a sleepy damn, day. Damn, <laughs> Corky. <laughs> It's okay. So I want to know from y'all, man. What's an insult from someone that you won't ever forget? <laughs> Call us up. Let's talk about it. One eight four four Y U N G J O C. That's one eight four four nine eight six four five six two. It's John Jack in the streets. Want to take over? What up with it, man? It's your boy King, man. Every weekday from six a.m. from ten a.m. You listening to the best damn morning show, Young Jock and Streets Morning Takeover? You did? Yeah, yeah, we back at it, man. Hey, look, we was talking about um, insults that you can't come back from, right? Yes. 
Mm. And, you know, <laughs> I myself, I know, yes. I don't know insult that I gave someone one time. And you should remember. And I felt bad because she never had that situation ever in life. Anybody ever called you funky or dog? <laughs> wow. She just stuck her finger under my arm. Okay, so Whoa. Jock has a hole in his sweater oh, I ain't, I ain't on the side. That ain't me. Nope. Nah, it is. That you. was your finger from that beignet. No, nah, oh boy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I stuck my finger under Jock's underarm. Yeah. And it smelled, she like, did. it smelled like you worked up a sweat running into work. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> no, you, know, you know how when you be rushing to work and you be running against the clock and your armpits just start sweating automatically. Yeah. Uh, I put it. I put on deodorant as soon as I got it. <laughs> like yeah. right now. Like yeah. I nah, but for real though, I did. I had to apologize. I felt so bad because it was such a hard, heavy blow. Uh huh. When I when I referenced the pimento cheese line oh, and yeah. Carly Red, and I felt so bad because as a man, I knew when I said that that even if it wasn't true, it might stick. Oh, but stuck. do you know, I'm sure any so man though. that she had slept with in two years after that thought about whether it was creamy. He, he got a look. He got a look. And they ain't thought about white it. or not. Crazy. She was always, man. Somebody thought about she that. She took care of herself. Though, I ain't gonna lie. I, I just and I even apologized. Remember, I came and yeah. then you have to come on a press tour, being like, I apologize. He was like, don't apologize. <laughs> like, nah, this 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 is bad. I didn't mean to go that far. But you knew it was gonna stain. Yeah, when I you know. Said it. Certain things you just even certain things to a woman like that was uh, shot. Um, his uh, his son's mom said about him. Mm-hmm. That one is hunting him. It didn't hunt me. No, I yes, didn't it know what did. you no, were. I, I, I mean, you cause I I'm like, looking you, your crazy, face when you, you, said it. you crazy woman? You no, know, it hurt why would you say something like that I mean, in front of these kids? It sound like it still it hurt just, your feelings. It was, just, it was just the three of us, but whoever that was right there, she, I don't joke <laughs> like that. Now, you know who don't play the radio, the internet, or none of that? Who that? Mm. Tia Kemp, because the way she be going in on her Man. baby daddy, Rick Ross. Wow. Oh, she be Child, going hard. Like, she went off on him about the car show and uh, what had transpired, people not being able to get in, their uh-huh. tickets were messed up. Tia went in. Uh. Yeah, she called him knuckle, <laughs> fat back. Wow. Knuckle, big knuckle. I, I don't know. Shout out to the brother who lost those cars in that accident leaving Rick Ross' uh, house. Ooh. You saw that? No. Oh, man. Chevelle. Lost what done. cars? Chevelle flipped What, you over. mean on the expressway? Yes, on the highway. They were racing. Dude, with three cars? Who they were racing. Dueling? They were racing out there. Oh, well, hey, it's still about $200,000 worth of cars. All right. Well, Sarah, we gotta go. We gotta go to these callers. Uh, the phone ringing. Hey, I want to know from you. What's an insult from someone that you just won't ever forget? Y'all already know who this is. This big money comes from Charlotte. They just swore to be in Zach. So I was putting my baby in the car, and y'all probably gonna hang up on me when I say this. But y'all gotta not think about it. You kind of look like Rob Forty Nine. Like he could be your son or something. <laughs> Why are we gonna hang up on you? So you said you, oh, that's a diss, though, huh? <laughs> I'm about to look this character up right now. Hold on. Rob Forty Nine. He know exactly who I'm talking about. That's the rapper. Yeah, do me a favor. What's your IG? I don't have an IG on Forty Three. I keep getting you banned, but I got a Twitter and I got a TikTok. That's why hey, you keep you, getting you, banned, right, now. Can you <laughs> can you can you send me a picture of you? Oh, I definitely can. It's not an issue. It's I, I can give you my TikTok right now. So, yeah, what's your TikTok? Up. I'm gonna fire your ass up. <laughs> Oh, you got the name! I'm okay. going to fire your ass okay. up for the rest of the day. It's M-U-V, as in Victor, 2A. <laughs> it's 2A plus the number two. I got on a, um, I got on a turquoise two-piece. Whoa. Ooh, a turquoise two-piece. That thing better be right. Oh, you, you finna get it. Hey, mm. man, it's time for the Date Dilemma, but I love you, baby. Thank you for your call. Hi. Uh, it's time for, again, Date Dilemma. one 844 That's one 844 Hit us right now. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. You are now listening to The Date Dilemma with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's The Date Dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? It's Rashad, man. What's happening? Rashad, you tell me. Good morning, brother. You tell me. You called us up. We want to know from you. Man, I thought I had to call y'all about this situation with my girl, man. Her name is Liz. I don't even really know how to tell her straight up, so I felt like the best way was to call y'all on Date Dilemma to see how I can really handle this and really about get rid of 
this girl car. She wanted to get this procedure done. Like she wanted to get this, like some light pole or something like that. Really, just trying like shape her body because I guess she insecure about how she looking and everything. Right. Which that really shouldn't even be an issue because I love it. But she decided that she wanted to do that. So she telling me she got this friend that she gonna go to that that, that that's able to do the operation and all oh. that. Oh. And I don't even know this person. I ain't never heard of them. They ain't even really got no real reviews like that. So I'm telling them, I'm like, well, you know what? You know, we might as well just wait, get the money right, and then we can just go to somebody who professional who got, you know, uh, more reviews and had more patience, people that we can go to as a reference, all that kind of stuff. After she get the procedure, time go on, and she started having some complications. These complications led to her having to get a colostomy bag. Dang, bro. Oh, she must have had a bad infection or something went wrong. I just know when you start talking colostomy bag, that mean you gotta, you have to have your body bowel movements via through your stomach because you can't, you know. I ain't even realize how bad it really going to be. So you know she needs this thing on her all the time. She can't mm-hmm. go nowhere without it. Right. So here it is, you know, try to go out in public, try to sit down and eat, you know, try to go to a game or something like that. And I'm sitting next to her. But, man, it don't feel good when you look around and everybody looking like, man, what that smell is. Mm-hmm. And so me, I, I already know. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Rashad, sure, what you want us to do? How you want us to handle this? What you, what you man, tell me? Really, what you man, got? you know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I can't, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't even deal with it. So really, man, I, I'm trying to, you know, just go on and end this thing. We're going to get on the phone. We're going to ask a few questions. But we're not going to do the breakup. You got to do that on your own. We'll facilitate the call for you, but we you got to break up with your lady if that's what you truly want to do. All right, cool, bro. All right, put your phone on mute, and uh, so let's get Alexis on the phone. See, he tripping because they didn't have the money to get the surgery at first. Then she went to somebody and got the surgery, and now he tripping. But well, why actually, he tripping? He told her not to do it, so and she did it anyway. How the f*** he tripping? But now she got that bag. Hey, good morning. I'll speak with Alexis, please. This is she. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How good. are you? Okay, I know. You're trying to figure it out. Listen, you're on the phone with Young Jack, me, Shanika, and Shada Shada. With Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover, a nationally syndicated morning show. Yeah, I hear you laugh a little bit. But just know that we call, you know, we, we calling because we have a segment called The Day Dilemma. Are you familiar with it? Uh, yeah, I've heard of it. Well, this morning you're on The Day Dilemma. Oh, my goodness. What's the dilemma? Well, we heard that you recently had a procedure. Yeah. All right, so how was that working out for you? Well, um, the procedure initially went good. Um, I have a friend who just opened up uh, a clinic. I'm currently having a little, uh, a little complication with it, but um, it's something I'm just working through at the moment. Well, did you um, did everything turn out the way you wanted it to? Because um, I know it was cosmetic. Did you achieve the the desired look? Uh, I achieved the look, but um, in the process, I have a small infection, so oh Jesus! So I'm wor- working through that right now. You, with, um, you got anybody going through this with you in support? Yeah, I, I have a guy, my man. He's been helping me. He's really not enjoying helping me, but <laughs> but he is supporting. <laughs> yeah, he's been supporting me. Um, I have this little colostomy bag, so that's been kind of weird for me. I never mm-hmm. had to do anything like that before. And it's probably weird for my man, too, now that I think about it. We've been working through it, so... Okay, okay. so this is what we're here to tell you. The guy we're talking about is uh, Rashad. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, Rashad, Rashad's my man. Okay, your man's on the phone. He on the phone? Yes, ma'am. Rashad, yeah. you know? What, What's what the up? issue? I'm confused. You know what the issue is. You having this procedure and all this stuff, trying to correct your body with ain't nothing wrong with it. And then what then? Oh. What they came with it. You getting this infection. You got this bag. I, I'm going to be real with you. I can't keep putting up with this. I mean, so I'm just trying to figure out what's the real problem. It's only temporary. Man, not, not, not from what I understand. This is, a, this is like a permanent thing. And I ain't trying to be stuck with this. I'm just, we ain't mad. This ain't better than worse. Oh, work. so because I had this procedure done and it didn't go how I expected? Man, it wasn't even just that. It was the fact that I told you, you to wait and let's go to somebody else. Man, it looked like to me, you, I mean, they just opened up the clinic. You got to give your friend some experience first. Uh-huh. You can't beat it. on somebody else. Like, don't let your friend experiment and practice on you. And that's uh-huh. what that happened. And, yeah. and that's where you at now. Okay, so look, okay. listen, at the end of the day, sweetheart, it sounds like to me your man didn't want you to do this procedure. You went outside of, you know, his recommended okay. advice. And so what's it going to be, brother? Where you at with it? Because this your lady. And I know some things happen sometimes. But sometimes, you know, you you know, we all have our ups and downs. We all have our faults. Here's your opportunity. Yeah. To do and if we are going to get married, I thought it was through sickness and health. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Look. It's, it's- 
that's is that not what this is? What you got? What you want to do? You gonna stay with your lady, or you tell her that you done for it? You're thin. breaking up with me. Oh like, my god! I called that member to try to go on it. Rashad, are right you here, serious? Right Listen, at okay. a time like this, well, I'm okay. trying to tell you something. Let me talk. See, that's that's your problem. She letting you talk. I've been trying to tell you something, but you 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 keep talking about the time like this. Okay. Are you so, staying hey, with your lady or not, bro? Yeah. What hey, you doing? Time, man, I'm going to stay. But we're going to try to work it out. I, I, I stay yeah. out of here. Thank you for your call. And on behalf of 1 800 Inches of Bethune Law Firm, we'll hook y'all up with $100, man. Y'all take that, go get us some more wafers and whatever. Ooh. So our listeners call us up 1 844 YUNG JLC. That's 1 844 986 Keep it right where you got it, Young Jock. In the streets morning, take over. That was the date dilemma with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know it's Amy Luciani when you hear the yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, every weekday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm listening to the best damn show. You already know what it is. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Duh. Duh. <laughs> you know what's going on. Hey, man, we just got to get right into this. This day dilemma's crazy. Rashad's uh, calling because this girl, Alexis, wanted to get lipo. Uh, she has a friend who's doing this uh, procedure. Uh, he don't even know if she's licensed or not. Well, procedure went bad she got some kind of bad infection end up having to wear a colostomy bag you know mm. that's the bag that you uh excrete your waste yeah. into exactly um and he says it'd be stinking sometimes mm. that's a bad feeling though. oh man it is and this isn't the only way that people actually you know have this bag on them so you know prayers and definitely concern for the people that have to wear this right, because right. of a medical procedure that they had, not because of something that they decided that they wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, because you, you could be in a car accident, anything, and and you may have to wear the bag. So um, yeah. We're not shaming, but yeah. but it is. It was kind of self inflicted, though. Yeah, this particular Very much situation. So, you know, he mad. He mad about it. Yeah, I thought he was gonna break up with her. She got on her phone and said, "You gonna you gonna break up with me." Oh, my stuff been said. I changed my mind. I'm like, whoa, it's about to Yeah, I was like, yeah, he I was might just have to change his number now. Please stay. Mm. And address. Please stay. No, I mean, why? Why? Why is that? Because he don't want to be with this lady no more. Oh no, they ain't. Because the 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 top thing is he felt like his opinion or what he said didn't matter, and that she went against that. And that's what that's what. And now right. she's in this situation. And so, like you second guessing me, like there is no kind of like leadership now. Exactly. Granted, it is her body. Mm-hmm. You can do whatever with your body, but you gonna have to suffer those consequences by yourself as well. But that's uh, a prime example of leadership. That's a prime example. You have to let let the man lead because he know. Right. So uh, on our IG streets morning takeover, uh, Marsha Robinson eighty seven said that was wild. She should have thought about this before she did the procedure. Wasn't a smart decision at all. She was her friend's lab rat, and it led to her wearing a bag. <laughs> mm, uh, Eagle Inc. says, what if it never come off, though, and you got to deal with that forever? You really going to stay? Mm. Man, let's go to these lines. Young Jock in the Streets morning take over. Talk about this day dilemma. Hey, I feel, bro, pain, man. That's tragic that these girls be having to go through all that, and they don't listen to their man. When they man trying to do something good for their health, they should know better, and they see all these deaths in the news, and they don't want to listen to the man that they choosing to lead on. That's crazy to me. It's your boy, Lucky Luck. Lucky Luck, talk to me. Man, everybody want a bad baddie with a body in a bag until they can smell it. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Asia. Say Dilemma. I got a guy, right? And he's kind of slow. I get the day dilemma with this guy and this girl, and he's feeling his certain way, but at the end of the day, that's her body. So if she want to do what she want to do with her body, then you have to accept that because women go through all types of things. Males don't. But wait, 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 wait. The man gave her the best advice. Baby, let's save some money up and go do it the right way. Instead of her doing that, she was so anxious, she just jumped on somebody's table. True, true. So he, I he's, would say it's a mind thing. So who's slow? He's he's straight. He he healthy. He's not walking around here with a doo doo bag on him. But she is. So who you say was slow again? I All was right. I was comparing him to my guy. Like he's slow, but I'm not saying the guy's slow. But together they need to work that out because he need to understand her. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah. Let me take another swig. Hold on. Hold on. I just got to say, Lucky Luck. Girl. Lucky Luck went out. Lucky Luck said, all y'all be in with a woman with a uh, body in the bag. A Barbie with a bag. No, a body 
a, a Barbie with a bag yeah. until yeah. you can smell it. Ooh! <laughs> Mm. Bars. Mm, man. <laughs> Are you smarter than Young Jock? It's coming up. 1844 YUNGJOC. Ah. That's 1844-986-4562. Give it like Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. It's the top of the hour. Thank you for joining us. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. Good morning. Me, Shanika. Good morning. morning. Shorty, shorty. Good morning. Hey, man, we got to get into this, y'all, because this ain't even a laughing matter, man. I'm, I'm trying to ease myself as far as my the, the load right now. Dr. Fauci mm-hmm. has admitted that the whole six-foot social distancing thing had no true scientific evidence to save us. The accusation being circulated that I influenced these scientists to change their minds by bribing them with millions of dollars in grant money is absolutely false and simply preposterous. I said that it is not based in science and it just appeared. The CDC was responsible for those kinds of guidelines for schools, not me. What I meant by no science behind it is that there wasn't a controlled trial that said compare six foot with three feet with ten feet. So there wasn't that scientific evaluation of it. Why well, did you know people got arrested for not social distancing? Yes, about your shame on you. For did you not know? not getting a vaccine, all types of things. And a lot of these things were not scientifically proven. Yes. Well, I almost got into a whole squabble with a whole gang. Nah, they were on us. About and this. You know how much money we lost because we could not film because you had to be vaccinated in order to uh, work at a certain point. Social distancing of it. Though. Yeah, social distancing. Social distancing. Yeah. Um, all of those things just play a part. I mean, from the beginning, you would think that these very educated people knew exactly what was going on. And of course, he was the chief doctor of America. Yeah, but I believe he was put up to it. I believe the it's... chief medical advisor, wait, wait, former. Wait, wait. No, he no. was what? Add this to it. What? A half a century in service. Yes. As a doctor. Yes. Yes. And research, I, I, years. I, research doctor. I can say that um, between administrations, between um, the Obama administration and going into the Trump administration, there were less funds that were allocated to infectious diseases. Right. So we were not on top of what was going on. So clearly, you know, something happened in between that where we could keep up with, you know, people manufacturing um, infectious diseases all over the world. But of course, so that didn't happen. When when are they going to next tell us it was a drill and they yes, an experiment and they put it out there? Social distancing, he said, just sort of appeared. Yeah, and broke families up. Look how far we are from our families now. But wait, uh, Congresswoman Marjorie Green. She is. She don't care. A she, piece of work. She don't strip the man of his whole title. She didn't even call him Doctor Fauci. She's Mister. Mister Fauci. Hey she man. Said, he doesn't deserve to be called a doctor. They said, ma'am. The man has credentials to prove that he's a doctor. You will address him. So what's supposed to happen? What's supposed to happen? Should he be charged? Yeah. I mean, what? what, what uh, Yeah. What are they asking for? Because now he is the former chief advisor. So how will this uh, play out? What what are they asking for? Call us up. We want to hear from y'all. What's your conspiracy theory on this one? We need one eight four four. Why you in GJOC? That's one eight four four nine eight six four five six two. Did you say did you say reparations? COVID reparations. Yes, oh, there was wow. a lot of damage done. That is. Keep it like young jock in the streets. Morning, take over. What's up? What's up? What's happening? It's big lotto. Every weekday from six a.m. to ten a.m. I'm listening to young jock in the streets. Morning, take over. Back at it, back at it one more time. Young Jack in the Streets morning takeover. All right, we're talking about this whole situation where Dr. Fauci has come out and testified at a um, House subcommittee hearing and admits that uh, six-foot social distancing uh, really had no scientific evidence whatsoever Mm. and says he doesn't even recall why kids were required to wear masks. Because he said it. Because he was giving us briefings every day. I'm going to say this. Come on. We woke up not knowing what the hell was going on. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, it was just like suddenly we we were blaming everything. People were like it's 5G. 
It's the five. You know, every mm-hmm. everybody was blaming everything. We was talking about. We stuff. didn't know where to start. You talking about these people was eating some bats? Like, come on, dog. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't want to make too. I don't want to make light of the situation because a lot of people perished. A lot of people um, lost their lives. A lot of people are still suffering from the effects of COVID. I mean, whether it's um, emotionally, was it whether it's physically, whether it's financially, even spiritually. You know, you got some kids right now who are below grade level because of this. So, yeah, you it's, got it's, some people that got married because of COVID. You got people that divorced because of COVID. You got, yeah, it's a lot of things yeah. involved. It is because we have to hibernate within one another. But now, you know, there are still signs in stores that says six feet distancing. They want people lie. six feet away from each other. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it never made any sense to me. Well, I tell you what don't make any sense. What this this uh, congresswoman, Marjorie Green, she talking about you talking about stirring up some stuff. She's stirring up the pot. Check out. Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor. You're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. No, I don't need your answer. Ooh, she got some cojones on her, man. Mm-hmm. Young Jack in the streets want to take over. We want to know from you, man. What are your thoughts on this? What's the outcome? What should happen with Dr. Fauci? You want to go into it? Hey, man, young jock in the streets morning, take over. CK, What's CK, I don't know what they should do with him, man. I thought the whole thing was fraud. Uh, I didn't get the vaccine. The real doctor said, hey, real vaccines take three to seven years. And they wanted us to take it in less than six months. Wasn't trusting it. John, I don't know what they're going to do with them, but I do kind of think it's being taken out of context a little bit. I just think he's saying, like, it was an unprecedented situation, so they never had time to do the experiments between the three foot, six foot, or whatever the social distance was. You feel me? So, I mean, he do got to take some responsibility, but at the same time, I feel like it is taken out of little context. Hey, this is a Rico. They should do nothing with Dr. Fauci. He- he was doing what he had to do, and uh, I felt safe. I'm not one of these people that's going to bash him just for making an assessment and following through with some things that is experimental. Nobody knew anything about this virus or anything about whatever was going on. So you have trial and error. They tried some things. Some things worked. Some things didn't. So they need to respect that, like you said, it was not scientifically proven that three, six, ten, whatever feet would work. They were trying to keep us safe. So um, Shorty Shorty with his... uh conspiracy theorist self he need to stop bashing old buddy and uh how come he didn't go to work after old buddy the orange dude got hit with him 34 charges <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Wow. yeah 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 and you better believe if i didn't have dental surgery so i could eat steak in the back i would have been here <laughs> It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The King and His Gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. What's your name? Where you calling from? Monique. Where you calling from? Chicago. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here are the rules of the game. You guys have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correctly will be the winner. You guys cannot answer each other's questions questions and you cannot answer the question after your 10 seconds is up okay okay all righty then we're gonna start with you first monique okay what gets broken without being healed what gets broken without being healed three two one Okay, that is your time. Young Jack. Yeah. What gets broken without being held? The line of sight. The who? The line of sight. Promise. Three. Uh, Two. Line of sight. Wow. No, because if that's your final answer, then whatever. Well, I said. No, 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 we got it wrong. I got it wrong. Next. Next. Well, tell me about how you said I got you got it wrong because you said a line of. I'm not finna tell you which one was right. So you gotta you gotta tell us which one right. The right answer was promise, but you said the line of sight. A line of sight can get nah, broken without that's being not happening You don't hold today. a line of sight, right? All right, nobody gets that. Moving right along, young Break Jack. This is a riddle. I can be cracked, made, told, and played. What am I? Sound like a damn. You could be cracked. Three. Cracker. Two. Joke. Huh. Riddle. 
I just want to tell Lucky Mika on IG. Get on my nerves, too. <laughs> okay. Um, you got it right? Okay. Uh, Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus collaborated on which number one in 2019? Um. Come on, now. Two. One. Oh, okay. Young Jack, Lil Nas X, and Billy Ray Cyrus collaborated on which number one in 2019? Oh, boys, I can't say it. It's a remix. Oh, is it a remix? Or is it Old Town Road? Was it the original or the remix? <laughs> All right, you got it right. It's a remix. Mr. Young Jack, yes, it is. Okay, which word means a list of things you wish to achieve in your lifetime? Your five-year plan. Bucket list. Uh, Three. Two. <laughs> I mean, All right, you are... got it right. I'm sorry, Monique. Jack won today. Therefore, you won't be receiving this $50 gas card. I'm Monique, so sorry I'm to let so you. I'm so sorry. You not spoiling it anymore. That's all right. It's all right. But you have a you have a good day, and um, you can shout out to anyone or anything that you would like. Uh, shout out to South Side Chicago. Shout out to my people, my base, my kids. One love. You sound sad. You sound like I look right now. Oh uh, no, nah, no. Nah. It's just morning time. I'm on my way to work. Got to get this day story. Get my coffee going. It's all right. Well, that's what we here for. We supposed to be yes, your coffee. Yes, yes. So get piped up, baby. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you for your call. We, we appreciate you playing today. All right. No problem. Have a blessed day. Test your wits. Test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take it, take it, the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Jeremiah. Put it down on me. Every weekday from 6 to 10 a.m., I'm listening to Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It's going down this morning. I got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. X... Formerly known as Twitter. X. Now, you know, if you're looking for stuff on, 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 on X, if you're looking for anything on social media and it's um, graphic, if it's uh, adult-like, uh-huh. even if it's nude, you can find the content on X. Well, they've officially mm-hmm. said that they will allow adult content on the platform. So it's official now. Like, you definitely could go there. Like, they say is that, look, you may share... Uh, consensually produced and distributed adult nudity or sexual behavior provided it's properly labeled and not prominently displayed. What's the biggest word in the whole thing that you just read? I don't know. What is it? Consensually. Oh, yeah. That means that you cannot take something that someone sent you and just post it to X. Yeah, Consensually produced. Do you have any consensually produced um, content? Are you asking me a question? I'm asking. Do do we? Do you? Do you, Charlotte? Who do what? Have consensually produced uh, content? Yes, with the station, with the uh, TV <laughs> networks, with the stand-up shows. That's consensually produced. Yeah, that's good, man. But it doesn't obtain any. Adult nudity or sexual behavior. Well, they got porn on X now. Yeah, that's nah, but it's like, been there. Yeah, but it's, it's it's like good. What's what's up, Swim? Just keep in mind, you know what I mean. That there are safety controls and setting guidelines uh, on X. Formerly Twitter, uh, X privacy and safety settings uh, can help protect you know your child from receiving this abusive content that they are now allowing on the platform. They been but okay. So what 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 is it now? Because it's been on there. That's why. I said That's it. why they named it X. That's why they named it X. X X X. Oh man, sounds crazy. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. Well, man, they're just them. trying to be where the money is. So yeah. if, if that's what people want to see. They're probably looking, you know, at the adult entertainment industry and how much revenue it brings in. He's trying to recoup a lot of money of investment that he put into it. Who, Elon Musk? Yes. Mm. That's who owns it, right? Yeah, yeah. You just seem like he could have just started his own for less. 
even though it costs to get that many yeah, people Yeah, but involved. to have all those subscribers already locked in, that's why people offer money for other people's, like, you know, Instagram or social media uh, platform pages. It's already locked in, It's bro. all about the data. It's all about the information. Man, this man got spaceships going to space. He got Lego spaceships cars. Spaceships going to bank it. Spaceships <laughs> on bank it. He got Who spaceships knows? on bank it. If you see one of them Tesla trucks on bank it, it look like spaceships on bank it. <laughs> What you got coming up, Miss Anik? All right. Well, coming up inside the Word on the Streets news, Drake hops on a remix. So we got to hear that coming up. And Tia Kemp went in on her baby's father, Rick Ross. Yes, after all the backlash that he was getting for his car and bike show. And Angel Reset put some respect on her name. All that and more coming up in less than 10 minutes. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Going down like it's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Let's get inside this word on the streets news and talk about Drake. Mm. So Drake just hopped on a sample remix of Hey There Delilah. Walk on Delilah, no, I'm late cause there's bad traffic I just showed my dog your Grammy, said he knows a man I slapped it I'm so cheesed Your madam was a night turkey I'm bent low-key Walk on Delilah, double date me if you like me Brought my chronome for your bestie, sorry He's wearing a shiesty, he's not beat it's just too smoky in these streets. Drake sound like the original version. I was like, what's the difference? Well, that boy sound like he playing the guitar. Da, 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 da. Boy, gone, bug boy. One, bug one, Shanika. Mm, now, nah, it's enough for she me. She got about to think she's a diva. First Wait. of all, I am a, a diva. Hey, Shanika, she thinks she You a got diva. on Kendra sweater today looking like a Devo. Classy, bougie, ratchet. All right. Anyway, moving right along, let's talk to your camp. <laughs> <laughs> Tia Kemp, the baby mother of Rick Ross, is um, basking in the backlash that he is getting for the recent car and bike show. She said, give them back their money, Willie. I heard the people was standing out the gate, blasted people, demanding refunds. Give them their money, Willie. Give it back. You rich, you got it. You talk a lot of heavyweight motion. Refund it. Give them people their money, but <laughs> see that? Everything you do gon' fail. From this point on, it's gon' crumble and fail. Cause you play with your son. I'm here to tell you, you dust smite you. Refund them people's day money. Not you dust smite you. You know one thing I really hate? I really hate when people try to curse you with their words because it's going to play out like it is. Like, oh, you know, you did this and this is going to happen upon you. That was, that's like, that's what a lot of church people do. Was, they try to invoke fear in you and I don't like that. But at any rate, she has every reason to be mad because it, apparently Rick Ross did not show up to his son's graduation. That was, that was the color purple coming out of her. Until mm-hmm. you do right by me, anything. But where they get it from? They got the color purple from the Bible. (laughs) (laughs) I thought all those stories were congruent as I was a youngster growing up. Anyway... Angel Reese said, put some respect on her name. Negative things have probably been said about me, but I'll take that because look where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball, but you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. We got celebrities coming to games, sold out arenas, like just because of one single game. And just looking at that, like I'll take that role. I'll take the bad guy role and I'll continue to take that on and be that for, the, for my teammates. And if I want to be that, and I know I'll go down to history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watch that women's basketball is not just because of one person it's because of me too and i want y'all to realize that and guess what she doing now she talking now she giving y'all what y'all want y'all wanted to hear her speak so here she go moving right along let's talk about sexy red as she had paul form with a huge maga hat now the hat on her head said make america sexy again now she said it's sexy red for president i'm my own candidate and i'm not endorsing anybody period after people tried to give her backlash and she is looking sexy that baby definitely did something for the body 
it was good. Now, I just don't know where the baby is. Have y'all seen the baby since it's been born? No, we have not. That is the Word on the Streets News. I am Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. Thank you much, man. The Love Doc Jock is right around the corner. Don't miss it. Stick around for it. one 844 yun GJLC. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's about that time for the Love Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Take over your own live with the love dot jock. How may I help you? Hey, um, I have wanted advice because I'm a dancer, oh. um, entertainer, but I'm married and my wife, she agrees to take me to my party. She hyped me up, but as soon as I get there or as soon as it's time to go, she got an attitude that she made. This is how you got to do it. You got to figure out a way to incorporate her in your show. It's real simple. Mm. You got to make her a part of it because see what's happening is she, 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 so she's trying to be supportive, but she has a jealous spirit. And what happens is when you yeah. get in there and she watches all those other spirits start coming towards you, start gravitating towards you, trying to get in that little juice box, trying to get on that, that booty meat. What happens right. is <laughs> what happens is she starts feeling like, uh-uh-uh, and she can't just come out and be like, that's mine. You got to figure out a way to, to help her be a part of your show. Maybe she lying a woman up or something for you to sit them in the chair, and maybe she hands you some of your props to, you know, possibly blindfold a woman, a handcuff a woman, and hand you the feathers to tickle a brow or whatever you want to do. Yeah, so it's a it's sense... It's, she got a problem with. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, probably a sense of intimidation there as well. Um, I'm pretty sure she's uneasy about it, but even then, with it being the men, she still could help you and you, if you incorporate it, it'll work out. Trust me when I tell you this. I'm, I'm, I deal with these okay. type of situations all the time when it comes to women. Okay? Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. That's the Love Dot Jock. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's time for Small Business Spotlight. Giving back to the community with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. This is MKMN Enterprises Pressure Washing Services. Instagram at MKMN2411. I'm on Facebook at MKMN Enterprises LL. Uh, pressure washing services. The email is uh, mkmn2411 at gmail. Every morning I listen to Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. You know who this is, man. This your boy, the country can't represent Pimp Squad Click all day. It's your boy, Mac Boney, representing that PSC Grand Hustle. Hey, say what's happening, man? T.I.P. the King. Uh, hey, good morning, man. It's your partner, Young Dro, right here, man. Every day from 6 to 10 a.m., we listen to the best damn morning show. It's Young Jock in the street morning takeover. Let's go. Grand Hustle, boy. Toxic Tuesday been a real one. I'm trying to tell you, man. Uh, Shouts out to uh, some famous people that I know that sit next to me every day. Shout Nika and Shout it. Hi. Y'all be holding the player down. I ain't going to even lie to y'all, man. Even when I'm going through stuff and other people don't know, y'all make sure that I'm okay. And I appreciate y'all. I just want to say I love y'all. Shout I want to tell you, as much as you get on my nerve, I love your new Bob. You thank you to sh- this morning. But that's what's happening. I'm proud of you. Shout out. Hey. Thank you for being a real one, my boy. All day, man. Well, I'm going to just say I ain't never not been that girl. And I want to follow <laughs> that up by saying I want you to be that girl and you to be that guy by getting your steps in. Let's get active this summer. Let's get a sweat. Let's do things with our kids. Let's get out there. Motion, all right? Get you some motion about yourself. It will relieve a lot of things, anxiety, depression, all of those things. You can shake it off. Yo, Making the right moves. Health is wealth, people. So listen, from Young Jock in the Streets Morning, take over. Get your steps in. Mental health. See about it. Cry about it. Get it out. Talk to somebody. Hi! And if you miss any other show today, please get our app, the Streets app, with a Z, in the app store. And you can get everything that we've done today, former day dilemmas, and all the sauce from the show. Please believe it, man. So y'all know what it is. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets Morning, take over. Yeah! yeah. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover.